A Denver man has turned the streets where he was once living into his own kind of canvas. We've introduced you to Andy Lurie before. If you remember, he's the man uh, behind the American Quilt Project. Well, now, as Denver CB Cotton reports, the project has not only grown, the man behind it says he's grown. Through a year of keeping our distance, Andy Lurie still found a way to bring people closer. I think people really wanted to show their face. So in the past year, he was able to add over a thousand more faces to his digital creation. And I do this project on Instagram. It's called the American Quilt Project. Okay. It's like uh, Faces of America. Okay. You could say Faces of Denver for sure. Okay. Lurie started the American Quilt Project five years ago. And boom. Snapping portrait photos of people. And we're done. Throughout the Mile High City. Okay, great. And I'll take a few, so we'll... Oh, that was perfect. It seems like the more I do, the better it gets. And Lurie thinks each person feels better after their photograph is taken. Thank you so much. You You're a handsome young man. God, thank you all. God bless you all. God bless you. I think, yeah, people, they, they like to be uh, recognized and told that they're a valuable human, or at least feel like they're, you know, valued. But he can remember a time when he didn't feel valued at all. I remember very, very, very clearly how that felt and what that was like to be anonymous. Lurie says he spent years on the 16th Street Mall. I remember being homeless on the mall and thinking about the days when I was a kid and would hang around in my dad's clothing store. And uh, we had, I have some very fond memories of those days. Fast forward a lot of years later, you know, 30, 40 years later, and I'm homeless on the mall. And it wasn't the only condition that left him feeling helpless. I suffer from this ringing in my ear or my head, it's called tinnitus. And that kind of drove me crazy, you could say. So Lurie attempted to take his own life. I was just standing on a balcony and I thought I could turn this ringing off pretty easily. And I jumped and the next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital. And then? A year later, almost exactly a year later, I tried again, but this time with pills in a hotel room. After surviving both attempts, he decided he wanted to live. I knew that, you know, after two times, two serious attempts, that I need to do something with my life. I need, it must have a purpose. There must be a reason that I'm here. Here for the American Quilt Project. I would just love to get your picture for the, for the uh, project. Let's just take a second. Can I snap your picture real quick? There we go. That's it, you That's got it, it on the first <laughs> shot. A community he's created where everyone finds a home. That just happened about a half hour ago on the mall with a homeless fellow. And I said hi to him and he looked up at me shocked that somebody was saying hi to him. Yeah, I've been homeless uh, for, for 12 years, been on the street. And a community where everyone can feel closer. I think that's the power in this project is, is that you're going to be seen, you are seen. I see you, I see you, you're there, you're a valuable person. So I hope that these pictures don't just fade away into obscurity, I hope that they're on display somewhere in some way and that people continue to enjoy them and that uh, they make people feel good. With photojournalist Josh Whitston, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7.